Hello friends, welcome to my channel excelsteel.com. Today I am going to show you an excel tool that will help you to overcome all the hurdles and problems facing in GST resigns. As you know GST is a rollout, you have to maintain all your accounts in a proper manner in series wise and also log wise. You have to proper issue the invoices to the debtors. At the same time, if you need the credit note, debit note, receive voucher payment, whatever the company, whatever the company needs, and as per defined government rules under GST regime, you can all maintain by single file. That is, this is file. This file will help you to maintain all this. Your invoices, your debit note, your credit note, your receipt voucher, your payment voucher, even your reverse invoice vouchers. It's only 5 MB file, not big much. And the best thing is, I'm going to share you this file with you all, buddy. And it's absolutely free. Let's start it. How it's work? Let's see. It's easy. And the best thing is, it's totally automation. It's error free. It's not allowed to do something error. And it's totally automation. Fine. Let's start. First open this file and the best thing is here the file is password protected. Password protect means your data is secure. If you enter your data inside this file, it will under your password, user and password. If somebody wants to log in, then user ID password is essential. As an example file, this is sample file, that's why I'm giving you a user id there and the password is one two three four it's not working because it's i am right and something wrong password is one two three four fine if you have the password then you can enter the data then you know very much it's, it's very much useful fine here you can see this is a sample file that's why your company name is not defined yet They're showing it's a company name address it's a one time process to set up your company name and address and gstn number of bank details so then it will be fit once then you can generate invoices and performa and debit note credits fine for this you have to go for the setup first in setup here you can see the company name address and gstn number let's start our company name is ram raj company and fine Our address is 3 by c Beltalla Road NH7 Kolkata 70019 Here is the GSTN number you can give the example GSTN 1219 uh, is the first code that's why the state code is 19 and it belongs from West Bengal Okay and this is the most important thing also this is the path location your you can file you can store with data that means when you generating invoices pdf copy that's supposed to be invoice credit not debited that will be stored accordingly as per defined folders first of all you don't have such folders let me see e drive there is no such folders in there let's click on this button it will create this file GST there. right here you can see such file it's blanks right now because we don't do anything else yet right that's why it's showing blank okay let's start go to the dashboard again click on this button fine then you have to enter the data first because data is essential to do a business right here you can see I am given an example ABC Limited and XYZ Limited. Somebody is registered in GST and on the one not registered is the first one is billing from Kolkata, West Bengal. The second one is from Assam. Assam. Here the billing address. Here you can give the shopping address. If somebody wants to deliver in one location and the bill wants to generate in one location, the billing address will be here and the shopping address will be there. Fine. Next code for the, the export. Then the product. Product which you are dealing with, right? Is the product. You can maintain the product details right now. I have a mobile sub business, so that's why I'm dealing with these products. Mobile Lenovo and the adjacent code is defined. The rate is the rate means GST rate, IGST rate. If you uh, if you just enter one IGST rate, you will understand the CGST and LGST as per 50 50% ratio, right? Right, right now I have three products. If you have 
then you can enter more one products easy then go to the next let me discuss with you about next things that is some sub items and also expenses go to the next part right this is time to enter our invoice data here you can go for enter the invoice data after that you can generate an invoice okay there you can enter data pass invoice number or invoice to it so automatically auto pattern so automatically invoice number will be generated you don't worry about this first name is one and the second is two then third and carry on let me see if you want to change the invoice pattern here invoice pattern is INP slash 001 then 002 then 003 slash 2016 and 17 if you want to change the pattern let me show you where you can change these things it's a totally automation software you can don't change there here you can go for setup here the company invoicing pattern here invoicing pattern is number three digit will be there right now your 001 that is three digit start with from one prefix and suffix you understand these things if you want to invoice INV INVC right here you can see the invoice pattern the same thing will be reflect automatically in your data entry portal INVC fine it's totally automation no need to worry and no need to be that whether it's, uh, it's being error happened or not it's totally error free right you just enter your dates time by time here I can here you can see I have entered two sales transactions sales means supply transaction first one I'm going to sell on the day 10th of September 2017 to ABC limited and he, he does have the GST number that's why it automatically come you don't know any need to remember all time what is the GST number of the party you just enter the company name a party name to, who, to whom you want to sell the automatically GST will come the reverse charges will be no because it's not a reverse charges do you have understand the GST reverse charges mechanism just go for another video you can see the reverse charges what is reverse charges, what is not okay this will be the address deliver address deliver address will be the same main location and the sales type is CST if you have some freight charges then you can enter the freight charges product selling one the products two let me give you a third example right on the current date I'm going to sell to ABC limited again here's the only two list because I've entered only two let's I have a three that is and data under right for each other he don't have suggestion number it belongs from Bihar Bihar code is 10 automatic clump 13 DC road Bihar fine then the third one is sir, you can enter much much data list there is no limitation go to the next part right now go for the cell entry if you want to sell this to Hari Naran right now it's showing three because we enter the third one even the invoice number is not generated or it will be automatically generated let us see so how GST number is zero means you don't have GST number if the first one have that's why it's showing if you don't have that's why it's not showing reverse charges yes no it should always be no here the address will automatically come this is going to sell from main item this sale is under GST if you have freight charges means if you charge some freight along with the invoice then you can enter 200 rupees with the freight charges we are going to sell his tablet in pieces 0 in kg let me show 20 pieces under 10,000 rupees that means 2 lakh rupees the invoice value in the same time I'm going to sell a second product as a mobile battery in pieces 35 pieces it will be 350 for pieces okay quantity kg will be 0 35 pieces rate will be 350 fine 2000 it's not showing the GST calculation but don't worry it will be automatically calculated you just enter the, all the criteria what is the requirement for invoices invoice number will be automatically generated three the date invoice to whom you generate the invoice and automatically just number will be there address will be there then what is the product and who, what is the features you enter you just go for the invoice right now go go to the invoice here you can see this open up down button is there you can cross one by one let me show you 
first inverse was there, second inverse xyz, third inverse to hari chara. Right? Inverse number will be 2, date of invoices, our state, Ram Raj company, state West Bengal. Here is the party name, party addresses, you don't have GST now, that's why it's showing 0, it belongs to Bihar, Bihar code is in there, there is no purchase order, fine. Here you can see we have sell them two products that is tablet 7, here is HSN code automatic code, there is no KG pieces, only pieces has been there, that's why its rate is in 10,000, value is 2 lakhs and sometimes the mobile battery will be, okay. Right now we are going to show in the round, freight will be there, 200 rupees freight, that means total cost will be 2 lakh, 12,450 of product of the cost and at the same time the tax will be automatic calculated on basis of state if if we are belongs from kolkata and the party belongs to bihar that is gst will be applicable but it's not under under cgst igst it's under uh, sorry cgst is under igst do you don't need to be worried it's automatically it's automatically calculated whether it's cgst or igst or igst automatically calculated as you know you have defined the rate is 28 percent that's why it's not calculated in 28 percentage it's under 58 percent that's 80 percent right now you can show the bottom bottom of the invoices here is the total product value here is the tax value and the total invoices and the same thing is written here in a tabular format so that you can understand easily product value tax value and total invoices the same thing is written over here in tax mode rupees 58,241 that is the tax and the invoice total is 2,76,900 fine the same time if you have some note then you can write down here no need to write down here there is something you can write down over there it is automatically come let me show you again go for the, the time go for the export click on data entry if you want to give some notes go to the right side here is the road notice please is it again Okay. Here you can show. Please visit again, friends. Fine. It's totally automatically. If you want to write on something over here, it's allowed. But I'm going to protect it. These things. It's okay. Here the bank details. You know, bank details are given from your end. This is your bank details. Then you have been seeing your Raj, Ram Raj company. This is the bank account details. If you want to change these things, let me show you how you can change this dashboard set up here is the bank account bank account is one two one two four five one two one two one two this is my bank account number here the SVN code hsn if you have some other bank then you can give in all the details that will be so in your invoices fine let me show you what you can see okay here is the company company seal will be there and your signature will be there this is the invoice will be generated this is not the first time you can scroll out for the next next is not defined that's why it's going zero you can see the assets of previous on this inverse 1 to ABC limited, inverse 2 to XYJ limited, inverse 3 to Hari Chandra. Right? If you need this printout copy, click uh, after selecting this, uh, click on print button, it will print at 3 copy. First copy will for original, second copy will be uh, duplicate, and third copy will for the triplicate. Here you can see original, duplicate, and triplicate. Fine. Print. If you need this PDF copy, you just click on the PDF. Where will the PDF will store? Let's see. This is the path. It's already been defined by you. Let me show you where it will be stored. I'm already showing you with the setup file. E is the location. There is the main folder GST invoice there. Under this, there is several subfolders. Right now, we're going to generate invoices. That means the invoice will be just storage under G, G drive, GST invoice there folder. Then subfolder will be the one invoice let me show you after click on pdf it will be generated let me show you where you can e drive gst invoice there okay here you go here you go the file will be generated how invoice inc number three ram and po 
inverse number is there inverse state to whom you generate inverse party you don't have gst number that's why it's not showing gst number here is the original one right it's easy here you can see tablet i7 same gst will be calculated and here you can see the calculation over the text also your as your node will also given there if you have signature you can write down your signature here or automatically reflected in a pdf the same time the challenge also created it's it's sometimes you need company challenge that's all challenge also generated fine if you need the second invoice go for the first if you need the first invoices down down this is the first invoices you just have gst number that's why it's called under cgst is let me define it once this is the invoice number one this party belongs to kolkata that's why cgst igst charge if the second party he don't have she also belongs from kolkata that's why abc limited okay let me show xyz limited she is belong to asan that's why it's not cgst it's under igst fine if you generate the first invoices click on the x pdf second one pdf third one already we generated let's show whether it's been generated or not yes series wise abc limited there is hassle free here is the first one invoice is there fine it's so easy along with you can generate the chalan also fine if you need you don't no need a pdf then you can click on the print so that you can print this copy in through your printer right there is two button this, this is also helpful to select which option fine so that's easy or not let me show you some credit note features debit note features go for the desktop if you want to generate a debit note click on debit note here you can enter automatically invoice number will be generated date party name gst number you just enter something like that then next gst number automatically debit note will be generated let me show you again here you can enter the data the same time you can generate the debit note with the debit note same features up and down features right first one is debit note I have not given all details that's why it's not showing here if you click on pdf pdf will be generated where you can show already show you and this folder debit node is a folder fine it's easy right at the same time you can generate credit node also let me show you go to the desktop enter the credit node details I'm going to date enter this to xyz limited this channel don't have next i don't have such thing right now okay let's see whether it's generated or not go for the decorated note yes it's showing abc limited click on pdf or either you can print credit note will be the same location but in different folder right all will automatically come credit note means reverse invoices fine right? If you want to generate the receipt voucher, payment voucher, same. First, enter the data. Let me show you the current date, name of the client, ABC Limited, sales type, GST, product name, Lenovo, quantity will be. Then, if you have type six, go. Here you can see the receipt voucher. Fine. You can create print. The print will be not defined. That's why the PDF button is not given there. Okay. I'll let you know. Fine. Okay, friend. This is the thing.
things it's totally useful for you after all this you can log out this so that again nobody can access your data fine go let's stop this right now